Welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews and if you're not new welcome back it is so wonderful to have you so tonight I am going to film part two of the three-part series of the battle of the camera bags and tonight is going to feature the Tabasco red Gucci Soho disco and if you missed part one, I'm going to link that down below, but it was my review of the YSL Lou camera bag in the black with silver hardware. And for part three, which will be filmed after uh, Christmas, I'm going to basically put these two head to head and um, go over, uh, you know, differences between the two of these bags. Because, you know, these are two bags that are really kind of debated between, like, should I get the disco? Should I get the Lou camera bag? And I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of these videos out there on YouTube comparing these two bags, but I also like to give my take on the two comparisons. So let's go ahead and begin part two and go over the Gucci Soho disco. So I'm gonna go over the structure of the bag. I'm gonna go over the price. I'm gonna talk to you about the features. I'm gonna talk to you about the pros and the cons, what I really like about the bag, and I'm gonna show you some modeling shots as well. I'm also gonna show you what I fit inside of this bag because even though this bag is small and compact, it truly can hold a lot. So. Okay, just to go ahead and start off then, this bag measures eight inches across, six inches in height, and it's nearly three inches in width here. It measures to about 2.9. The strap is fully adjustable with five adjustments. I keep mine on the longest setting. I am almost five foot nine, I'm five, eight and a half, and I do like to carry my crossbody bag on the lower side. And so this bag currently retails in um, black and rose beige on the Gucci website for $1,350. The color Tabasco Red is no longer available on the Gucci website, unfortunately. I did find this bag on Fashion File, and so if you're looking for the red in particular, you have to go pre-loved because on the Gucci website it is only offered brand new in black and rose beige. Both gorgeous colors as well. So going ahead and just going over the bag in general, here on the front you have the interlocking GG's and you have one G going one direction and then you have an upside down G going the opposite direction. And then here on the front you can see the beautiful shiny pebbled leather. This bag is full grained pebbled leather. Absolutely stunning. It feels so soft and scrumptious to the touch, you guys. Amazing. The back side is fully plain, which a lot of people do like. There is no feet on the bottom. Um, most camera bags actually don't have feet on the bottom, so nothing really missing there. And then on the top, you do have the full zipper closure. The zipper does all come all the way down um, past the edge of the bag. So that helps out when zipping and unzipping and getting things in and out. And then, so here you've got beautiful light champagne gold hardware. And I love this bag because it doesn't really have like a ton of hardware on it. Um, you know, you've got this, which is like a raised stitching logo. I mean, thank God this wasn't like gold right here on the front because I think that would make it slightly on the gaudy end. So this is the Soho line. So the Soho line is more discreet in a sense for Gucci. By the way, it was introduced in 2012. So this bag's actually been around for almost like, well, for nine years. I mean, almost 10 years because we're almost in 2022. So that's crazy. <laughs> so yes, we've got the light champagne gold hardware. And you, um, this tassel, by the way, is not detachable. Okay, so this is full on the zipper. And you have this gorgeous fringe here. Um, all, again, in the pebbled leather. So you go ahead and just open up the bag. And then that reveals the light 
interior lining. And on one side, you have a slip pocket that says Gucci, made in Italy on this tab. And then you have the serial number right there. The, on this side, there is a black tag like down in to this bag and that also says Gucci with the serial number. And then on the other side you have a little slip pocket. These slip pockets are great if you wanna put your cards in there. You don't even necessarily have to have a wallet. Like you could just stick your money and your cards straight down into here. When we go over the pros and the cons, we're gonna talk a little bit about the interior of this bag. But look at how nice and wide this bag opens up. Like, I love that. <laughs> it's so stretchy and it gives. And it's because of the leather, you know, it's pebbled. So this bag is just smushy, scrumptious. Um, but that being said, some people don't like that it loses structure. So we're gonna go over that and the pros and the cons, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close up this bag. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and go over the pros and the cons. Now that I've kind of gone over the bag with you. Um, so starting with the pros of this bag, the big pro for me is this durable pebble leather. I feel like this bag is very, very scratch resistant in my opinion. I've only had this bag for like a month and a half, but I've used it quite a bit. And I do have um, acrylic nails and they are a little bit longer, so I do, I'm not like rough with my bags, but I have never noticed like a little scratch or anything. And I do have a friend who actually did a four year wear and tear on her exact same bag, and her name is Patricia. Um, I'm going to link her channel in the video down below so you can watch her four year wear and tear on hers, and it's in amazing shape and she does a really good in-depth wear and tear review. But I feel like because this bag is made of such durable leather, it's gonna last for a long time, so I totally feel like that is a pro. Another pro is how comfy this bag feels whenever you wear it. This strap is so good, you guys. It is so good. It's just like, the lightest thing you've ever put on your body and then you just like boop pop it on and then you're like out the door and it's so good like it smushes up to you it's like a second skin i just truly love the feeling of the disco okay Another great pro, in my opinion, is just the overall looks of this bag, and especially in this red color, because this red, to me, is the perfect, and I mean perfect, red I have ever seen in my life. Like, I'm picky with red, and I feel like this red has just enough like, of like a slight little orange tone to it, and it's just perfection. And I like that it truly can go with so many different like outfits that you never would think of. Like it pairs well with colors, like other colors in your wardrobe. The only colors it probably wouldn't pair well with would be like another shade of red or like purple. Um, but it really pairs well with, this bag looks awesome with gray. It looks awesome with like like a heathered oatmeal sweater. I love this with oatmeal color. Um, black, perfect, like with what I have on. Just anything. This red is the bomb. I love it. And I also love, and this is a pro to me, this tassel, because I think the tassel kind of gives it a little zhuzh. It gives it like a little something something. So, you know, like when you're carrying the bag, it kind of just adds a little bit of fun. So she is gorgeous. And also another pro is even though this bag is small, it really holds a lot. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I put in mine, but truly you guys, this bag, it's like a clown car. And she's the smallest, like probably one of the smallest bags I have in my collection, but I'm still glad to use her because she still carries all of my essentials that I need. So, Okay, on to some cons of this bag, and there's a few. So, 
One of the cons that people talk about, it's not necessarily a con for me, is the light interior and the fact that this can get dirty fairly easily. And when you go on the pre-loved market and you look for these pre-loved, sometimes you see like lots with like dirt on the inside, especially up here where people have put their hands in or you know, there's like ink marks inside or there's like makeup in there. But I just really wanna encourage you guys, if you have luxury designer bags, please think about and consider putting your you know makeup in at least a plastic baggie and then put them into your very expensive luxury designer bags because these things are not cheap um, at all. And I just choose to put my like things in pouches and it works really, really well. And especially it keeps me organized and I just like organization in my bags, but it just really protects this precious, lovely lining. I mean, people think that this is a con, but truly I like having a light lining so I can see my stuff in a bag. So that would be a con for some people. And then another con, and I'm gonna just kind of show you, is this zipper and closing it. So, and I don't know if this is for every single disco, but I used to have this in black too, and it was the exact same way. When you, un when you unzip it, it's fast. Like it's very buttery smooth. But when you go to close it, you have to kind of tug it a little bit. And you have to use a second hand to close it. So easy to open, a little bit on the tougher side to close. But still not horribly bad. I don't know if that could get better if you use some like beeswax or some kind of material on your zipper to help with that too. So I've never tried that on this bag. And then, okay, there's two more cons. So one of the cons people talk about is when this bag is just kind of like laying down and you go to pick it up, it flips upside down just like this. So what I did is I just grabbed it by the strap and picked it up. So you do have to kind of like, get the strap straightened out and then it, you know, corrects itself. It's just part of having the Soho Disco and where they attached the straps because this strap is a little bit further down the bag and if it was a little bit higher up, I don't think it would have that bad of a problem. And then also the tassel can either go in front or behind this strap. See what I mean? So some people get kind of annoyed with that. I don't know, not necessarily me. I love this bag. Okay, so that is another con. And then finally is this little guy, again, on a lot of videos. If you have your strap all the way at like one of the top two or even top three adjustments, this little tail, can flip out and it's super long because they don't have another strap keeper right down here to hold this down. So that is the other con, okay? Um, what I have seen people do if they have the black one is they take a hair tie and they tie it around so that can stay stationary and not, you know, do that, okay? So there's no really way around that if you have like the red one, unless you could figure out like how you could find like a red hair tie that would match or I don't know how else you could fix that. Maybe go to like a leather person and they can make like an extra little strap keeper for you for this bag. You know, you'd have to match the leather perfectly, but um, okay guys. So basically that is all the cons of this bag. And now I want to show you, I'm going to do like a turn down and I'm going to show you exactly what I put inside of this bag. Again, this bag really, really holds a lot and it's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what all it fits.
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. So that basically concludes my review of my Gucci Soho Disco. Do I recommend this bag? 100% yes. I totally recommend this bag, especially if you're new to luxury designer. This is an absolutely great find. It's under $1,500. It is at the lower price point for Gucci and it's very, very versatile. So absolutely a winner in my book. And just to kind of show you what it looks like on me, it's really, really nice down here. It's a great size, nice and slim to the body. So absolutely recommend you guys. And just curious, do you have one of these? This is pretty popular. And if you do have one, what color do you have it in? And um, anything else that you guys have questions about or comments about your bags? And just curious how yours might be holding up after if you've had yours for a while. That's always kind of interesting to know about the wear and tear on these bags. So, all right guys, well that concludes part two. And again, stay tuned because in part three, these two are gonna go head to head. And I think I'm gonna film that one, you know, after Christmas, probably before the new year for sure. So, um, Guys, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, and if you don't, I just wanna wish you a happy new year and happy holiday to you and any kind of celebrations that you have with your family. And thank you guys so much again, and um, stay safe out there, and thanks so much for stopping by.